We are here at the Youth Empowerment Globalizer Summit and we are here to see young change makers as well as Ashoka Fellows and many of them are going to share with us how they create change, how they see problems in their country and how they provided a solution and then how they are creating change from the ground up and they are sharing from their hearts for you and they are creating change out there and we hope that while watching Ilim Chu TV you are able to learn from the change makers and create change wherever you are and then to be the next change maker for this generation and make this world a better place. I, I had this strong desire to make a contribution to society. I think I got that from my parents. They encouraged me from a young age to not just think about myself, but also think about others. And they instilled this value of service in me. Uh, even when I was 10 years old, I organized events in the community. So I work at WAVE Academy, West Africa Vocational Education, which is in Lagos, Nigeria. Um, and what we do is we connect employers with young people. Um, so uh, dealing with youth unemployment by, by making that connection. So what WAVE does is really say, we're going to be the people that connect you to the job interviews. We're going to give you the skills you need to behave as if you have four or five years of work experience already. And it doesn't matter where you went to school or whether you went to school. If you can get the job done, you should be able to get the job. I uh, started Box Girls first of all as a sports club. I realized what sports and physical activity could do for children and especially girls to feel confident, to feel strong. And our desire is to use what we've learned to help other government departments and to help other universities train their teachers differently and train their social workers differently. Uh, so getting out of doing direct intervention ourselves. but. Um, that we are again working with people who are there entrusted by the government uh, to do the work but that we're giving them better methods, more impactful methods and also methods that are like informed by a very passionate belief in social justice. In everyday life everybody sees many societal problems but disregards, ignores all of them nearly. If we write them in a, no a notebook, uh, if we note them and Sometimes later, we can correlate the problems, root causes, and with the notes we took, we will uh, get near uh, to the social problems. Thank you. Our children are in an unprecedented predicament situation. Uh, they have to learn the digital skill for their futures. So we developed a framework called DQ digital intelligent quotient. Beyond IQ and EQ, children need to learn DQ. What is DQ? This is a uh, ability to use and um, create the technology and media to empower children with DQ. Um, and this is our goal and we hope to work with every uh, partners to achieve this goal. Thank you. When I first started university, I had a chance to actually bring uh, students to rural villages to run business competitions and help them to uh, alleviate poverty by creating entrepreneurs from that program. So we ran about like 30 of these uh, competitions uh, in like more than seven countries, eight countries. So that really brought us to start um, Backstreet Academy as well, where we think impact travel can really change communities around the world. Where everyone in these communities can actually uh, create some activity, showcase their culture, showcase their craft to travellers and get travellers to actually see how a situation is like in a very dignified, meaningful manner that could really uh, redistribute a lot of the, the funds in the tourism industry to actually uh, causes like poverty alleviation.